Howdy folks. <clears throat> We've got a utility trailer here that we're going to put onto a walk behind tractor. This is our Ravenna brand 16 cubic foot utility trailer uh, that you'll find on our Earth Tools website. This is the same utility trailer that BCS America sells. They buy it from Ravenna and then brand it through them. We also have uh, a couple other utility trailer options and uh, some people just adapt their own utility trailers to the walk behind tractors. The key thing in adapting any trailer to the walk behind tractor is this tow coupler. The tow coupler is the device that allows this double clevis hitch on the tractor to be interfaced with the tongue of the trailer. So the tongue of the trailer here is a piece of pipe, it's hollow. This is going to slide up inside of that piece of pipe and then be locked in place with this pin through this hole here. And then of course this pin is going to hold it onto the tractor. <clears throat> Whenever you're running any kind of a trailer or any kind of device behind a walk behind tractor that you are pulling, um, such as a, you know, uh, say a lawn sweeper or a, uh, a thatcher or a dethatcher, I guess it would be, or an aerator, you, you can adapt any number of lawn and garden implements that are designed to pull behind four wheelers and garden tractors to your walk behind tractor. But you got to have some, you got to use the tow coupler. And the reason is, that this is a single axle tractor, okay? There's only one axle on the ground. It doesn't have two axles like a four-wheel farm tractor. So you've got to be, you've got to have location capability through the tongue of whatever you're pulling. That is, <clears throat> if you just had a standard utility trailer, like for a lawn and garden tractor, those usually just have a hitch that's like a flat piece of steel with a hole through it. Well, if you're hooking that onto the back of a garden tractor, that's fine because it's got four wheels on the ground, two axles, and it's stabilizing itself. So it's just dragging the trailer. In the case of a walk behind tractor, you're relying on the tongue of whatever you're pulling to give you the stability needed to keep this engine up off the ground. If, 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 this, if, if the trailer is not holding it like I am right now, by being slid up over this pipe, if this were just a little tab, you know, of steel with a with a hitch pin going through it, it would just flex on that on that hitch, and the thing every time you let go of the handlebars, uh, the engine would fall on the ground. Also, every time you let out the clutch to engage power to the wheels, the, the unit would kick back like this because it would just the the driving force of the wheels would be transferred through the axle and just try to pinch you every time. So you've got to utilize this double clevis, which actually locates the tractor through the tongue of whatever it's attached to. So, now, <clears throat> a lot of people will take this hitch and they'll want to put it, let's get that out of the way, they'll say, oh, here's my tow coupler, and the tow couplers look slightly different depending on what brand of tractor you're hooking it to. This is one specific to a Grillo. <clears throat> but the idea is the same. I'll go in here, like so, Put this pin through here to hold it in. You can see this hole is ovalized slightly to allow this to float so you can have some float between the front and rear end. So people want to put this thing in here like this and then say, okay, the trailer is now complete. Now I can hook it up to the tractor. Well, let me tell you what, trying to stabilize the tractor this way and get that thing lined up right, you can do it if you're good, but who's going to put the hitch pin in once it's lined up? You're going to have to have a friend or grow a third arm. So, don't do that. I mean, if you want to grow a third arm, you can. But, you know, I'm not going to make you. So, here's what you want to do. Put this on the tractor first. Way easier. So easy to get this thing on here. Put that in. Now, all you got to do is line up that with this, which is really very easy. Let's get that off and then I'm going to drop it. Just push this down, slide this in, come back here. Okay, there we go. Right there. I did that all by my lonesome. No third arm required. Get that through there. Some of the BCS tow couplers come with more of a D-pin on them, but it works the same way. So now, we're ready to cruise. 